don't miss any content, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Hey guys, welcome back to Sahara Football. It's a fine morning here. And great weekend, amazing goals. And so much happened over the weekend. Anthony Joshua won the fight. I hope you guys placed the bet on that fight. Anthony Joshua won the fight by a knockout. And also, some few Ghanaian players were on show. We are going to talk about their performances over the weekend. I'm your, I'm your host, Lars Fiawe. This is Sahara Football. As usual, if you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell to get all updates and videos I post onto this channel. So, let me get right into it. I'll start off with the Italian Serie A. On Friday night, Empoli and Susuelo faced off at the home of Susuelo. And Empoli lost that game eventually. Kevin Prince brought in there and grabbed a goal for Susuelo in a 3 1 victory. Let's have a look at Kevin Prince Boateng's goal. I think this is the goal. Wow. That's the goal by Kevin Prince Boateng there. This was the equalizer. They were one goal down, and I think he equalized with this one. In celebration, raising his boots to the camera. A, bit, a great goal there by Kevin Prince Boateng. So, Kevin Prince Boateng's Empoli. He led the comeback, they were go down. They, they beat um, Susuelo, beat Empoli. Kevin Prince and Susuelo beat Empoli 3 1 eventually. Now, on Saturday night, Inter Milan played with Sampdoria, and Sampdoria eventually lost that game. Ojo Samoa was on the pitch for Inter Milan, and see him, he posted pictures here on Twitter later on after the game. Celebrating the victory over Sampdoria. It, unfortunately for Kojo Asamoa, he scored a goal that was disallowed. VAR disallowed that goal. It was a goal per se. And the story reads The Ghana International found the back of the net with a sensational daisy cutter from the edge of the box. But once again, VAR ruled it and it was disallowed. This time, the ball had gone out of play as he was pulled back from the byline by Danilo Ambrosio. Ambrosio. Moments later, Sampdoria scored with Drefel, who took his shirt off to celebrate before realizing he was offside and that didn't count either. The goal eventually came from Brozovic as he chested down a corner and smashed the volley from the tight angle to beat Oduro and give Inter Milan what was ultimately a deserved victory. Kodra Samoa lasted the entire duration of the game for Inter Milan. So once again, Kodra Samoa and Inter Milan were victorious after their midweek victory over Tottenham Hotspurs in the Champions League. So now we move to England and we all know Crystal Palace versus Newcastle played out a 0-0 draw. Jordan Ayu started his third consecutive game for Crystal Palace after being out at the beginning of the season following his low move from Swansea City. So they played out a 0-0 draw. He played the entire duration of the match. Jeffrey Schluck was an unused substitute in that game and he, he didn't feature for Crystal Palace. Now for Newcastle, Tiana Chu was a substitute in that game but he didn't have as much impact as he would have wanted. He was replaced, he replaced Matt Ritchie in the second half of that game but as you all know the match ended 0-0. Now Leicester City played with Huddersfield and they emerged victorious 3-1. Martin was part of the defensive line for Leicester City and they won that game 3 1. Jamie Vardy got the all important third goal that sealed the match. They went a goal behind. Ianacho scored, followed by Madison with a sumptuous free kick. Then Jamie Vardy sealed things off 3 1 there for Leicester City. Now we move to then we move to Spain and Thomas Pate was a substitute once again for Atletico Madrid. They they beat Getafe 2 0. Pate came on, he was immense in that game. His ball control, he controlling the midfield, and all that. He was an immense, he was really immense for Atletico Madrid. They came back after their 1 1 draw last weekend with Ibar. They came to win 2 0. Thomas Lema, his rebound off the back of the goalkeeper. And Thomas Pate came in the second half, didn't score a goal, but his, his impact was really felt in that game. Now to my final um, game, and I think um, Deportivo Alaves, that's the, the club of Mubarak Wakasu. Deportivo Alaves, Deportivo Alaves, the club of Mubarak Wakasu. They won 5 1 against Ray Vallecano, and Wakasu was in the game and he played an immense part in that game. They won the game. There were five goals scored by Deportivo Alaves in that game as they thumped 
Rayo Balacano 5-0. Now, finally, to my last Ghanaian player, and that's Emmanuel Boateng. Emmanuel Boateng, he didn't feature for Levante. They were thrashed 6-2 by Sevilla on Sunday morning. And um, Kujua, uh, unfortunately, Emmanuel Boateng didn't feature in that game. So that has been it for today. Before I go, let me just tell you a, some a breaking story now. The calf, as we all know, Kwesi Nyantichi has been booted out of calf following the Anas expose and all that it revealed. So calf General Assembly to elect Nyantichi's replacement by September 30th. So September 30th, we will know who the next permanent calf vice president will be for calf. And we'll see how things proceed from there. As usual, it's been great bringing the performance of Ghanaian players abroad. I know I missed a few of them, but these are the few ones that performed over the weekend. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day.